Ah! Shark! The next time that you're headed out to the beach all full of excitement and slathered up in sunscreen, you might want to remember that you're sharing the ocean with a whole bunch of the scariest and most aggressively over-endowed in the tooth department sorts of creatures. Yes, there are sharks in the sea, and a whole bunch of them have been turning up unexpectedly to scare the bejesus out of regular old people. And you could be next. So without further ado, here are 20 terrifying shark encounters caught on tape. Number 20. Massive Great White Shark Attack It is the worst nightmare of any diver. Although Jimmy Partington is an expert diver, and he was inside of a shark cage, this clever clogs of a great white managed to figure out how to crack open that can of food. The shark can be seen suddenly lunging at the cage from below, which had tipped the diver out into the water. The guy was then in a frantic swim for his life to make it back to the boat before that shark could reach him. Utterly terrifying, especially when you know that the great white shark is a purpose-built killing machine with so many adaptations and features designed to make this shark one of the most efficient hunters on the planet. They have three rows of viciously sharp teeth, about 300 of them in total, and it seems that many as half of all shark attacks on humans in the world may be attributed to the great white. Although these sharks may not always be out to kill the humans that they nibble on, I mean, I don't know how you can tell if a shark has good intentions or not, some scientists have suggested that the shark is merely curious and taking a sample taste of a human, but will then discard them when it realizes it's not really what it's looking for. Not too comforting for the victim, I would imagine, because the sheer size and enthusiasm of the bite means that many great white snack-sized nibbles end up being fatal anyways. Eek! Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Telling you that, if you're scared of sharks, don't watch this, seems like a very silly thing to say when, you know, I actually do want you to watch it. So perhaps just shut your eyes for the most terrifying parts and listen or whatever, you know, you do you. This is a very sinister looking picture that has been circulating on the internet. I mean, we've been circulating it too, so <laughs> anyways, is it real? Is it a Photoshop piece of silliness? What do you lovely people reckon? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Shark lands on a boat. When you take a boat out to do a spot of shark fishing, the last thing that you may be expecting is for the catch to try and get into the boat by itself. But that's apparently exactly what happened on Captain Don Law's fishing boat. The vessel set out from Hampton Bay, New York, and began its journey along the coast of Long Island with the regular quota of passengers on board. Then suddenly, and fortunately for us, some bright spark on board managed to capture it on film. There is an additional passenger on deck, and this one's just a little bit fishy. The huge Mako shark leapt clean out of the water and landed on the fishing boat, getting itself firmly wedged between the vessel's guard railing. And then it began to flail about wildly, as you would expect it to, really. And the people on board tried to figure out just what to do about the stricken animal. They devised a scheme to release the beast and managed to wrangle it by using a rope, eventually lowering it back into the water. It wouldn't be sporting for the catch of the day to be so easily captured, after all. I mean, even blood sports have rules of etiquette. Number 18. Shark Flips Over Kayaker Up next, we have a terrifying encounter between a man in a very flimsy-looking kayak and a big bad shark. How do you reckon this one's going to turn out? Back in 2015, Ben Chansey, a U.S. Coast Guard captain for fishing charters, found himself off the coast of Stewart, Florida on a fishing expedition targeting Goliath groupers. As he attempted to catch one, his kayak became surrounded by several bull sharks, creating a quite tense situation. 
Equipped with a rod and reel holding a 15 pound bait, he then lowered it into the water, hoping to attract a grouper. And surprisingly, a grouper did emerge from amidst the bull sharks and aggressively devoured the bait. In the ensuing struggle, the grouper pulled the rod out of Chansey's hands, causing him to lose control of the situation. Now, the bull shark, seizing the opportunity, also went for the bait, and the encounter intensified as the shark began to spin him around and drag him across the ocean. After about 20 minutes of battling the powerful predator, the shark swam under his kayak, causing it to capsize. Remaining calm, Chansey quickly realized the precariousness of his position and opted to swim to a nearby support boat rather than to stay vulnerable in the water. Wearing a life jacket, he swiftly made his way to safety, aware of the lurking dangers that were posed by the presence of numerous sharks. In fact, bull sharks are amongst the most aggressive species, and they don't turn down a nibble on a human, even if they don't plan to finish the meal. Number 17. Great White Shark Bites Boat While out doing what she has literally done hundreds of thousands of hours, a woman named Erica Allman had an encounter with a great white shark that was unlike any that she had experienced before. Allman was out in her 34-foot boat called Offshore Therapy in the waters of Tampa Bay, Florida, when a huge great white shark swam up and bit a piece out of one of the vessel's motors. Well, better than any limbs, I would suppose. Those fishing these seas do regularly see sharks, and they're abundant in these waters. They're attracted to the bait and chum that the boats will often distribute. However, this kind of close call is kind of out there, even for Florida. This shark was somewhere around 14 to 16 feet long, so it wasn't just a toddler. It had been chasing the bait and began biting the boat and then the motor. But what do you think about such a close encounter? Let's get stuck down in the comments below now, shall we? Number 16. Shark Attacks Inflatable Boat In the waters off the coast of South Africa, sharks were up to yet more mischief. This time, they were busy menacing a film crew who were out getting footage for the YouTube channel Max Animal. A great white shark comes to investigate the inflatable boat that they were using. Now, the thing is, when a shark investigates something, well, it uses its mouth. Yes, the shark chomped all over that rubber dinghy while it figured out what it was, whether it be food, and whether it was indeed something of interest. No way. Put it in my belly. Put it in Fortunately, the shark ultimately decides that the boat was not that fascinating after all, and eventually swam off in search of a surfer or perhaps something with a more delicious meaty parts. Number 15. Eight-Foot Shark Rams Kayaker This is the fairly stressful encounter between a young man with an improbable name of Quentin Turco and a bull shark. Ah! Tiger Shark! Turco is a surfer guy who is not unfamiliar with the big fish of all sorts. He is rather partial to a spot of spear fishing and enjoys swimming with massive rays. So what is a teeny weeny little eight foot shark to him? This footage would be captured by Turco himself in the waters of the Outer Banks, North Carolina. The big eight foot long bull shark took umbrage with the guy in the kayak and began ramming his boat. The startled fisherman then made a whole lot of shrieking fuss, better for all the social medias, until the shark had lost interest and then swam away, probably in search of a more quiet and easier to eat dinner. Number 14. White Shark Surprise Breach there are many different kinds of surprises, but it's quite likely that one involving a great white shark is not the kind of surprise that anyone is looking forward to receiving. Whoa! Holy crap! I don't know, man. That... Jumped right out of the water! Researchers off of Cape Cod were taken by surprise when they had a rather too close for comfort encounter with a great white shark. The massive sea creature had breached the water and shown the surprise scientists several rows of distinctly pointy teeth. Even though these marine biologists from the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy are experts on these animals, it still comes as a shock to get up close and personal with one when you're least expecting it. They took that opportunity to remind the public that sharks are indeed wild animals and that their behavior can be unpredictable. And that's important to remain vigilant in the summer waters that are around Cape Cod. Well, that all makes taking a dip seem just a right barrel of laughs. Number 13. Fisherman Fins Off Bull Sharks 
Here we are with a guy named Tristan Gandy. He was out fishing for red snapper in the waters off Panama City in Florida when he had an encounter that he was a bit less than thrilled about. Now, spearfishing in famously sharky seas is not the most genius of moves, but here we are, people do dumb stuff. Gandhi had been diving down to look for a shipwreck when he was spotted by a big old mean bull shark. That shark lunged at him and even bit the end of his spear, as if to indicate that it gave no chuffs about such a puny weapon. It was a hairy few moments as the fisherman tangled with a couple of sharks, and in the end, Gandhi threw his catch to distract the super aggressive predators and then made his escape. The bull shark. Number 12. Shark charges into cage. In an astonishing series of events off Guadalupe Island, Mexico, a breathtaking encounter between a massive great white shark and a diver would be captured by a man named Craig Capehart from Indiana. The footage shows the brown trousers moment when the rather mean-looking shark attempts to break into the cage where Craig and another diver were seeking refuge. What's even more remarkable is that this incident occurred in the very same cage that had been previously smashed open by another shark only weeks before, as documented in another video that had been plastered all over the great big ruddy internet. In that particular film, diver Ming Chang found himself momentarily trapped with a three meter long shark after it had managed to penetrate the bars. Fortunately, after an intense struggle, Ming emerged unharmed. Notably, that same week, a group of four divers would experience a similar ordeal, getting temporarily trapped in a cage with yet another shark in those same waters. You have to start asking the question, who in their right mind is still clambering into a cage that has clearly got some fairly major security issues, and who the heck is in charge of fixing it? Also, this was from several years ago, so do we actually know if anyone's been eaten yet? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section down below. Or, you know, have a jolly good old speculation and lambast the lack of safety features in the shark cage. It's gonna be fun either way. Number 11. Surfer Fights Off Shark Australian surfer Mick Fanning had a close call while competing in an event in South Africa. He had made an extraordinary and daring escape after an extremely uncomfortable encounter with not one, but two sharks. As you look at Fanning on the rankings, oh, you can see a little splash. Oh. The final of the J-Bay Open was beginning when the first shark came along and approached the defending champion surfboard, knocking him into the water. The lucky guy had managed to escape injury and somehow to punch one of the sharks in the back and kicked and fought to get away. Then the competition organizers rescued Fanning from the water with jet skis, sending the sharks packing. Meanwhile, the entire world was watching as the drama unfolded on live television. Fanning's mother recalled the incident as one of the most horrifying and helpless moments of her life. Can you even imagine it? You'd feel absolutely terrified indeed. The competition was then called off and presumably everyone refrained from dipping their toes in the surf for at least a few minutes after having that close encounter. Number 10, Shark Bites Boat Propeller. Here we are again in the waters of Australia where everything can and probably will kill you completely dead or at least that's the way it seems. This time around, we're alongside a bunch of guys who are out fishing on a boat when they experience an extremely squeaky bum situation that was either going to give them some cool footage for their old YouTubes, or they were going to land them all on the evening news. Oh my Let me get, get out of town. In this heart-pounding video, a monstrous 10-foot shark takes a bite into a boat's motor, refusing to release its grip, leaving a group of fishermen in a state of terror. The incident unfolded as Captain Matt Zen and his three friends embarked on their annual fishing expedition to Coral Bay in Perth, Australia, all unaware of the imminent danger that was lurking beneath. After battling with a formidable 10-foot-long bronze whaler, also known as a copper shark, for around an hour, the unexpected would occur. The shark appeared to attack their boat and then bit into the propeller, refusing to let go. This, as you are now aware, ended up being released on Instagram rather than in the obituaries. Lucky guys. Number nine, bull shark attacks canoe. 
Filmed in the waters off the coast of Florida's Key West, this footage shows a terrifying encounter between a couple of fishermen in kayaks and a determined bull shark that seems kind of peeved about something. Oh yes, it is upset because these kayaking people are trying to catch it with their fishing rod. How rude! It's no wonder that it seems cross. If you had a hook in your mouth and some plonker in a camp canoe and a floppy hat was trying to reel you in, you might well try and shove him over as well. The people in both of the boats are almost thrown overboard, but manage to remain upright as the shark batters them from beneath. It's enough to make the fishermen lose concentration, and the shark ultimately gives a couple more solid wallops before slipping off the line and swimming away. Perhaps they just caught him on a bad day. Number 8. Bull Shark Steals Catch Next up, we have some rather alarmingly close-up footage of a large bull shark doing a little cheeky thieving. This incident would be caught by a fisherman using a GoPro who was surprised when he had tried to reel in his catch. This sizable bull shark had some other ideas and began to wrestle with the fishing line, tearing the fish to pieces and eating it up for itself. Ah! Tiger shark! It took three attempts, but on that third try, the bull shark was successful in completely removing the fish from the line and making off with it. The video would be posted by a Florida-based fishing company called Deep Blue Kayaking Fishing. This sort of encounter is a fairly common experience in the somewhat sharky waters that surround the Sunshine State. Number 7. Tiger Shark Charges Swimmer Here we are yet again in the waters off the Australian coast. Although, why in the actual heck anyone in their right mind would ever even dip a toe into these deadly seas is utterly beyond me. Again, we have a shark encounter, and again, the person is lucky to have escaped with their life. This footage would be captured by a drone over Hillary's Dog Beach near Perth, Australia in 2022. The gripping footage would be taken by Sam Wood, showing a chilling sight as an ominous predator lurks in the pristine and transparent waters only a few feet away from some unsuspecting swimmers. At one point, the creature even appears to be heading directly towards a woman in the footage, causing a moment of alarm. Fortunately, luck would be on her side as the shark abruptly changes course and swiftly swims away, avoiding any kind of potential dangers. But frankly, this is also where sharks live, and it's almost definitely their habitat. And as nice as it may be to swim in the ocean, do you really want to risk being eaten by a ruddy great big shark? It's nothing short of madness, surely. But go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. I know you want to. That's what the comment section is there for, after all. Number 6. Hammerhead Attacks Fisherman the further we go into this list, the riskier the business of fishing in a kayak is beginning to appear. Here we are with yet another incident that involves a vulnerable kayak trapped person and a shark with a sudden and urgent sense of curiosity. Yikes! Mark McCracken, a construction worker with a passion for kayaking adventures, uploaded his close encounter with a persistent hammerhead shark in the waters off the shore of Gaviota State Beach near Santa Barbara, California. He's just paddling along, mostly minding his own business, and that's when he attracts the attention of a hammerhead shark that seems really interested in him and is not about to take no for an answer. That shark initially skulks up behind the boat and swims into it, so the kayaking man tries poking it with his paddle. This seems to only engage the shark further in the pursuit. Each time that McCracken wallops the shark with the paddle, it just comes back and offers an answering bite or headbutt to the kayak. The standoff continued for what felt to McCracken to be an eternity as he tried to head to the shore as fast as he could. Ultimately, he was completely fine and was able to upload his exciting encounter to the internet within moments of the heart-stopping encounter. So that's a relief. Glad to see there was no long-lasting trauma. I just wonder whether or not a shark holds a grudge. Number 5. Shark Attacks Fishing Boat in an unexpected turn of events, a fisherman had a rather surprising encounter with a great white shark while on a fishing excursion near Santa Cruz. Mark Davis, who was actually out looking for squid bait, found himself in awe as a massive great white shark, roughly the same size as his 15-foot fishing boat, began forcefully banging into the vessel with its side. 
The curious shark went on to circle the vessel, and at one point, to the astonishment of Davis himself, it actually lifted the whole jolly lot up about four feet into the air. Once the shark had finally stopped messing about and gone on its own way again, Davis returned safely to shore, only to discover sizable teeth marks and even a stuck and discarded shark tooth on his boat. A marine biology expert would later confirm that the impressive creature measured 15 feet in length, suggesting it was likely searching for a meal. Luckily for Mark Davis, it didn't decide that it was him. Number 4. Shark Leaps From Water during an eventful fishing trip in Cape Cod Bay, Massachusetts, a group of charter boat fishermen aboard the Stun Mai 2 found themselves in for an unexpected spectacle. As they eagerly dropped their lines into the water, hoping for some striped bass action, they were taken aback when not one, but two great white sharks made a sudden appearance. In the blink of an eye, the sharks had skillfully snatched up their catches before the fishermen even had a chance to reel them in. Even though this was, naturally, a rather startling experience for these fishing novices, there are numerous reports of these kinds of encounters all over the region. In fact, some people have said that this is literally an everyday occurrence. Sharks are pretty intelligent when it comes to finding their food. And if there's an area in which baiting and chumming is regularly taking place, then they know that there will be plenty of food available to them there. So that's where they'll go for an easy meal, whether they alarm a boat full of fishermen or not. Number three, shark dangerously close to surfers. This insane drone footage shows a bunch of surfers just casually paddling around while a gigantic great white shark swims around them, sizing them up. It is pretty chilling stuff. Captured from the sky over the waters off of Cape Town at the southern tip of South Africa, this unique footage has been used by local authorities to warn surfers and swimmers alike of the shark dangers that exist there. Well known for shark activity, Petenburg Bay is often witness to sharks on the hunt for seals and fish nearby. Although the scary footage does show a shark coming very near to the people in the water, it is not actually displaying any kind of particularly aggressive behaviors. It just seems to be investigating the scene. There are things that surfers and swimmers can do to lessen the chance of a dangerous interaction with these huge predators. Advice includes using a personal shark shield, which is a kind of device that produces an electromagnetic field that puts sharks off, also to avoid areas where there's fishing and to stay in groups. Now, like we've already heard, sharks are not all that likely to attack, but when they do, they're probably just tasting whether or not it's the sort of prey that they're actually looking for. Even so, it's a risky business sharing any water with one of these toothsome terrors. Number two, shark bites cage bars. Well, this is one way to test out that your shark cage is functioning correctly. Although, frankly, you would really want to have some kind of guarantee before you were in the water, surrounded by all of those predators with bazillions of teeth and murder in their minds. But here we are in the mad, mad world of diving with sharks. And people willingly plunging into shark-infested waters with little more to protect themselves than a few rather flimsy-looking bars a couple of tires, and some gaps that look large enough to actually allow a shark to swim straight inside the cage. But then again, what do I know? I'm not even mad enough to take this particular plunge. This footage would be captured from inside of a shark cage out in the warm waters near Guadalupe back in September of 2016. I don't really know if these crazy shark enthusiasts made it out alive, or if this is, in fact, found footage from the inside of a great white shark's belly. I mean, who could really possibly say? Number 1. Man Greeted by Great White In 2021, Darren Verbeck, an underwater photographer, embarked on a diving expedition off the coast of Keyhole Point on the Great Big Island in Hawaii. It was a picturesque Friday when Verbeck's attention would be captured by what had appeared to be a school of fish. However, something about their size and shape soon made him realize that this could actually be a great white shark. So, slightly insanely, he then went to take a further look 
and to his surprise, the massive creature before him, estimated to be over 15 feet in length, did not display any signs of aggression. Intrigued by its non-threatening attitude, he then decided to stick around and actually watch it. Dr. Carl Meyer, a respected marine biologist affiliated with the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, would go on to shed some light on the situation. He would explain that the presence of great white sharks in the area could be attributed to the arrival of humpback whales, which migrate to Hawaiian waters for breeding purposes from November through April. According to Dr. Meyer, the behavior witnessed by Verbeck was quite typical for a great white shark in these circumstances. In the quest to identify the creature encountered by Verbeck, an underwater photographer and fellow diver by the name of Michael Domier, president of the Marine Conservation Science Institute, would step in. He embarked on an investigation analyzing the pigment patterns that were captured and drawing from its extensive photo identification database, which included nearly 400 sharks from Mexico's Guadalupe Island, him and his colleague compared the patterns but failed to find an exact match. So in the end, he took to Instagram to share the team's hypothesis. They believe that this female specimen belonged to either the Central California tribe or the Point Conception tribe of white sharks. This discovery would raise further questions about the migratory patterns and range of these most dangerous creatures. Well, that's all from today's episode of Terrible Nightmares that you'll definitely have now. Thanks for joining me. Which of these scary shark encounters will be popping into your nighttime imaginings? And have you ever had an uncomfortably close liaison with a sea creature? As always, you can let me know all about it down in the comments section below. Be sure to check out all of the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen. And I will gladly see you next time. I love you.